feel like I'm like about to tell them like, guys, I've got news. I'm quitting YouTube. I've got some news. I have some news. No, I just, I dread this day every year. Spring cleaning, it feels so good after. It's the best feeling after, but god damn, doing it before. It's just so overwhelming. But luck luckily I have my, my trusty Virgo friend. Virgo! Virgo! That loves to organize. Guys, look at this. Oh, look at this fucking mess. It's like organized chaos though. Like obviously shoes. This is all pants. This is miscellaneous. That is chaotic, I will say. That's all shirts. Don't mind all that up there is just New York storage. Like what else, where, am I, where else am I supposed to put my giant suitcase, right? It's fucking brutal, but we're going to attack it today because everything else is really clean. Like I like what my room is right now. And then the other day we also, or yesterday? Was it? Yeah, it was yesterday. We had a Home Glow cleaner come. So the house is clean, everything is clean. Now I just need to kind of under the bed in the closets. The nitty gritty. The nitty gritty. Hi, I'll see hi. Before we get into the rest of this very intense clean out, which by the way, you will see from start to finish all in this video. I did wanna mention that today's video is sponsored by Homaglow. Homaglow is an online cleaning service where you can book top rated cleaners in your area for special occasion cleans or regular cleans with their forever clean membership. As mentioned, we had a cleaner come the day before we did the closet clean out. So everything in the house is spotless. Uh, we hadn't done a deep cleaning since we moved here two years ago. So it was very needed. They dusted every crevice of this place and it was so thorough as I'm brushing off dog hair. Well, that's Link. It was super easy to book. I just went to their website. I said what day I wanted them to come and then it showed all the cleaners available in my area. You could also browse photos and past reviews of background checked cleaners in your area, which I love because it's, you know, you're having somebody come into your home, touching a lot of things that might be very special to you. You know, it's nice to kind of have like a general vibe of who it's gonna be. While you're booking your appointment, you can also say things like, me for example, I said, hey, I have a dog, just a heads up. We have two bedrooms, two baths, emphasis on the kitchen, just kind of saying and customizing whatever you want for the specific cleaning. If you are somebody who wants to kind of start a regular cleaning schedule, you can join their Forever Clean membership. That'll save you $30 an hour for all future cleanings, or you can book unlimited cleanings starting at $19 an hour. That's also backed by Homaglow's happiness guarantee. This is definitely something I could see us using again come June. We have a lot of people coming to stay for Gov Ball, and I feel like it'll be nice to do like a big deep clean before we host a lot of people. So if you guys want to check out Homaglow and take cleaning off your to-do list this spring, visit homaglow.com slash Kristen or scan this QR code here for your first three hours of cleaning for only $19. Ooh, do it spring cleaning feels so good. I feel like I've slept better ever since. And I feel like it's honestly helped my allergies. This place was dusty. Okay, let's get on with the cleaning. I feel like we're gonna learn a lot from Alex today. <laughs> Sorry, it's like a wet rat. I know, we both just shower. got out of the shower. <laughs> I'm grateful that you're helping because Alex has been someone who's helped me organize since like elementary school. I would go to your house and I'd be like, can we clean your room? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can we organize That's your so room? Funny. Cause it was so, it was so bad. Like you're not a dirty person, yeah. you're a cluttery person. I hoard, this is the worst camera angle. I hoard <laughs> like a pack rat. Yeah, I just, I like to keep absolutely everything I've ever, owned. I think the best way to not get overwhelmed is to chip away piece by piece. So like you start, I start small and go big. Like, like shirts only. Yeah. Pants only. Or like sections. Like let's just start with these three drawers. Those, th these drawers are actually going to be really quick because these drawers are just like hoodies. See, like you won't feel overwhelmed if you pick something that you already feel like is going to be easy. Mm. You know what I mean? I see. Just to get you in like the, then you'll be like, oh yeah. Now I'm in it. Cause, cause I, I do know how good it's gonna feel after. Get that gratification with something quick, quick so you could start remembering how good it feels to like push through all of this. Yep. So I got this dresser because I obviously just like needed something to like fill up this space when I first moved my bed to where it is now. But I also have so many hoodies and that's one thing that is hard for me to get rid of cause hoodies are generally branded or like mm. thrifted. So they do have like a, emotional pull. This drawer is all my teas. Maybe we should start with this drawer. Sure. This is gonna be a walk down memory lane. Okay, shirt number one, I'm keeping this. 
You wear that. I wear this all the time. My rule is you don't have to justify anything that you already wear consistently. Okay. Don't get rid just to get rid. I get rid of the art. I get rid of, I'm keeping this. That's my cow shirt. Oh, I love this shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's already folded too, like you're just gonna put everything back in. <laughs> I love this shirt, all my brew through shirts. I like subconsciously started collecting these. I just noticed I always liked their fits when I would thrift and then one day I literally looked and by collect, I mean I have three. I noticed they were brew throughs. What is brew through? I think it's like a, kind of like a dairy. I think, I don't know where, it's kind of all over the map. I think this one is North Carolina. Oh, I love this. This is my, I usually wear this shirt when I'm really hungover, but not like intentionally, it just happens like it's to fluctuate. Yeah, like the cycle of my laundry, it comes to the top of the drawer when it knows I'm having like it's a hungover shirt. day. Uh, actually, years ago, a subscriber hit me and was like, hey, I make these shirts. Oh, I wish you could get their name. I forget. Uh, yeah, this is just the tag of like the wholesale. Shirt, so I don't even know. Oh, it's that on the bottom. Oh, it's there. That's probably the logo. Does anybody uh, recognize this? Because this shirt is amazing. Oh, see, I can't get rid of this either. I'm gonna end up keeping all these shirts. <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah, <laughs> it is really cute. And it's Teddy Fresh. Like, this is good quality. Would you ever consider hanging these? Yes, if I have room once we go through. Okay. Because we could also pull something from what's in there and fold it. Right, right. Sure, I can't believe I still have that actually. I thought Wait. I got rid of everything. Oh, you probably just missed it. Ew. Ew! Could you? Oh. Oh, you have to keep the chili ball! This, this is going, bury me with this. This is like, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, I love this shirt. I should hang this. This is like more fashionable, huh? I think, should we assess? Yeah, okay. we'll assess placement. Ew! Ew! Another X shirt? Yeah! What the heck? You got me that. In Clear Lake. But it reminds me of Clear Lake. No, ew. Okay. Yeah. You'll have your own Clear Lake uh, re memories. You're right. Here's another brew through. Oh, that's really cool. See? Isn't that cool? You never wear it. That well, was down on that. It's a good shirt. It is a good shirt. Outer Banks. That's cool. I love this shirt, but is it like 2016 graphic tee? Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's cute, and it had its moment. Forever 21. I wore this shit. Exactly. Like, there's graphic tees that are, like, cool and vintage and, like, one of a kind. And then there's fast fashion graphic tees where they try to make like yep. that same look. And I feel like that's what this is. Look at that. Empty drawer. Empty one drawer, down. One down. Okay, so I come to a fork in the road. This crew neck, I love it. It's high neck, like I feel like it's different. It's at leisure, but it's still like stylish. I've had it for years, I love it. But the fork in the road here is, I feel like when I'm getting rid of clothes, I see the overall value in it, so I wanna keep it. I don't think about my value in it. Like I'm like, oh, this is still like in style. This is still like a relevant piece. But do but, you well, pick it up? I wear it. I haven't picked it up in so long. And I also feel like a lot of the pieces that I used to wear all the time are expired in my head. Yeah. I've worn the shit out of this. Like, you've done all the outfits. It's, you've like evolved from this style too. Yeah. So it's keep, done. Keep or toss. I'm gonna toss. Toss it. Ta-da. These are all <laughs> empty. You done? I'm so tired. I can't even keep my eyes open. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> I thought you were kidding. <laughs> Okay, what would you do this, now? This is good. Um, I think we, I think you go get a garbage bag and put things in a garbage bag because this pile is going to get overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Like my pile did. One and a half bags, roughly. It already feels really good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we're done. Okay, I think I'm going to take these drawers out. Oh. We're going to do them out with this closet. Okay, so the drawers she's referring to are like socks, under. <laughs> you can't even get it. It's pulling the whole thing out because the drawers. The whole out. building falls <laughs> Bags? I thought we were starting with the drawers. We can start with the drawers, but I figure why not go top down? Okay, yeah. Like I have to we'll pull these the out anyway. So on top of this, I have like all my bags. I have in the drawers, it's like socks, underwear, 
I have I have a drawer that's like just little tiny crop tops and sports bras because they're too small to hang. I know that this little drawer section here is gonna be what gets rid of the most because I've had a few closet cleanouts and I did a big one before we moved, but I never did that. Okay. Because I had those same drawers at Auckland. So yeah. when we moved, I had the movers just tape it up, it up and so I don't know what's in here. This is a great tote. That's a good tote to put bags into. This is gonna go. Yeah, open it up. You said that like you put something in there for me. <laughs> Surprise. Oh! Chat tick. It's me and Alex. As in another universe. As in another universe. Rolling down. <laughs> <laughs> Look what. This is how you know how old it is. Look what we just found. That's so nuts. This is empty. Trash. Oh, wait, I love this. I kept <laughs> this because. This scent is so good, and they never came back out with it. But it's empty. Oh, smell it though. Yeah, it smells like clean old, laundry. It smells like my old car. Yeah, it smells like Jake. Leather. I think our mini bag's done. That was a little fad, and I think they might be done. It was like Lizzo era. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the tiny one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeet. Oh, that's cute for like gum ball. I feel like you said that last gum ball. <laughs> Oh, isn't this cute? So my Aunt Nita, my Aunt Nita is so cool. I don't know if she watches my videos, but if she does. Hi, Aunt Nita. She's actually like so fucking cool. She, we were at my, I think it was at my grandma's wake. Oh. And I was like, Nita, like she's, she's just always so cute. Like, like everything cool she, and funky. She's so funky. And I was like, Nita, I love your bag. Like that it could tell it's obviously like OG vintage, blah, blah, blah. She's like, oh, take it. And starts emptying oh it out. She's like, take it. <laughs> And then she, my grandpa gave her like a Safeway bag to put like all of her. <laughs> I was like, "Are you sure?" She's like, "Yeah, it's dirty, it's banged up, but like, girl, this is like from the '90s. Like, this is nice." I was like, "Okay." So I do. I was thinking like it would be cool to get it fully restored you, and everything. You gotta put some use to that. That it's is a so really good bag. Cute. That'd be that'd be a fun TikTok like restoring a bag. Yeah. You know what this feels like. You seen Halloween Town? Yes. The guy when everything is black and white and he just sits in his house and he's trying to do, mitch, mismatch the socks. Oh yeah. That's what it feels like. And he's just sit there. He's like, oh, <laughs> another mismatch. Oh. And like puts it over there. And then the word to break the spell is like a part spelt backwards or something. What was it? Trappa. Trappa. Go, Trappa. Yeah. And then the color comes back. Trappa. And the color. Oh, great movie. Yeah, great movie. I made good way on these. I have a full free drawer now. I'm about to do like my swim kind of beanie miscellaneous drawer. This is the shoe situation. Getting rid of these. These are a maybe and these are keep. So now that's freed up all of that. Golly, Alex. You really, really outdid yourself. You have all your heels down here because these aren't in everyday wear. Right. Sneakers, 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 because they are pretty much in everyday wear. Right. Chunky cute things, chunky cute things, docks, shoes that you never wear. <laughs> <laughs> and then my Twilight book. <laughs> yeah, you see how you like how I based them out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now ah! that's the evil the evil guy, so that's we're a, gonna do that last. Okay. This is miscellaneous, but I think this will be quick. Yep. This is crazy. Yeah, but it's one of those things where we can literally grab yes, no piles and then we'll be good and gravy. Okay. It's like, should I have my YSL and my Dior on display? display? For sure. This is a good bag. This is my first big purchase. Yeah. Yeah, it means a lot to me. Wait, I thought these were. Oh, you're right. The, this is my first designer purchase ever in my life. Balenciaga's, I'll never get rid of them. And Vegas, this, right? In Vegas, yeah, just fucking belligerent. And then this was not too far after. Oh my god, is this a road? This nice. isn't a This is my first road ever. It's the old <laughs> packaging. This is gonna be the longest yeah boy ever. <laughs> it always hits. Um like when the packaging was gross and like matte and like weird. Oh and then look, some zigzags. <laughs> yeah, keep these. Throw those in there. Oh, and then a peanut butter brownie wrapper, Snickers. Oh, and then this is my Cartier pouch that I keep 
medicine in and I keep Benadryl and aspirin medicine me medicine Benadryl and aspirin because I'm afraid of an allergic reaction and a heart attack good thing it's in your YSL that you don't that touch. I don't take out <laughs> and then I have this bear my grandma helped me sew this when I was little because she sewed a lot so she got me this like kit that like, needs to be out here. You can even see. Oh, I should keep this on my bed. I've been saying I want a stuffed animal. Yeah. Okay. Christian Dior, Dior. All right, this has like costume shit in it. Like it has my Mickey ears. I feel like that could even go in this tote. Oh, like the costume a, shit? Yeah. With your, that witch's hat needs to get out of here. <laughs> Whoa! Do you ever like knock your ankles together on accident? Your ankle bones? No. <laughs> I just did that <laughs> really bad. My spooky selection. <laughs> I got this for Halloween and I didn't even wear it and it was not refundable. So if you see me a witch for the next six years, <laughs> no, you didn't. It gets donated so a cute little girl can be a witch for Halloween. Okay. Oh, this hat. Oh, this hat is day. This hat had its time. It's done. The what purple's cute. Pr it's cute. And it like, could, that's a good like wall piece. Ooh, yeah. hang this on the wall. That's very like, what? What is the her hat, Lady Lady Gaga? This is a, a hat stretcher. If you're wondering, for that head. Yeah, I had to stretch this. Uh, it's like the side profile of her. And she's oh like, yeah. Oh, I want to go to Disneyland. Hold on, look at these. Mm. This is what happens when I clean. I like I find something. I'm like, oh, and I have to like try it on and like reminisce. Wait, this is so funny. What are the odds? These are the candies you always find at the bottom of your grandma's purse and I just found oh, them at yeah. the bottom of mine. But you never know how you get them. How did I get these? Yeah, where did you get those? I don't know. So you're saying drawers. Jeans and drawers sweaters and that thing yeah i knowing myself i think the hoodies will start to look messy okay whereas jeans like look cool to and fold. like pretty in a closet you just don't need that much space anymore for these <laughs> <laughs> good thing this didn't fall to me <laughs> i just don't i also don't think you need this in here like theoretically what if we hung them all jeans here pant you need pant hangers or I can't just flip them over hangers? No, it gets messy and it's chunky. I think invest in some, all you need is like 20. Right. And this could all be pant hangers. That would be so nice if that was all pants. Yeah, and then you dead ass can take this out. Ooh, take it out. Let's yeah. feel what it feel like. Look how good we got a vacuum, but like, whoa, whoa. Oh, I don't want to do this. You're so, you have two more racks of clothes and it's not like, they're not even full closet racks. Yeah. Holy fuck, this room looks crazy. Here's my senior ball dress. It's so snagged and gross. These weren't yellow. No, those are yellow. They must have now. oxidized. Yeah, or Whoa. something. Okay, Alex is going through holding things up for me and then I'm swapping out to all these hangers because what I had before were these like really thin hangers where even like the lightest jacket was weighing it down. So I'm swapping out hangers, I'm yelling keep or throw and we got a little system, a little flow assembly going. Assembly line. Assembly line, assemble. These are the hangers that I had though. They're like, see they're like too flimsy. going to have a meltdown this is the best part this yeah. is the easiest part because in my head i look at a pile and i'm like that's going there that's going there that's going there and like it's already done in my head this this is actually exactly where i freeze and this would sit here for like three days and i'd like sleep in a, the corner right there <laughs> Like a fucking cat. That's crazy. Okay, chop chop. We're all clean though. Holy fuck, this is crazy. Okay, so this is <gasps> currently what it is. Oh, wow, that looks so much better. All the cohesive hangers too. It's It makes everything so much nicer. Yes. See, it's sweaters, long sleeves, um, like collared silky shirts, Okay. sporty tees. Oh, baby. And I can like move shit around. Yes. 
Now, you have a couple options. You do have this, which was okay. initially what we wanted to do for jeans. Yeah. I could, if we wanted to keep this jeans, we totally can. And then I could squeeze your little bit of dresses in the back since you don't wear them much. Right, and just have them like hang, yeah. which is nice. Okay. Or I could just do dresses here with your garment bag and belts. And then you could get a, a jean thing. Jean thing here. Tuck it back there. Let's see. Let's just like feel that out. Hanging jeans is nice for wrinkles too. Yeah. Oh yeah. I guess that can live back there nicely. And it like doesn't take up a crazy amount of space and you don't wear dresses a lot. So. Right. Like I, that's special occasion. And you'll know like, okay, I need a dress for this. You know which hangers to go to. Right. The black ones. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Let's do that. I think okay. hanging jeans would be nice. Hanging jeans would be nice, and then you'll get a belt hanger. Like, yeah, and that'll take up way less space than that. These yeah. little S-hooks, I don't even know where I got those. All right, now this. This looks like the inside of my brain. That's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, it is. Who are you telling? <laughs> but everything is in, like, the pile that it needs to be in. I have shorts and skirts here. I'm just going to refold and divvy those up into drawers. It's going to be shorts and skirts in one, uh, comfy pants in the other, and then the rest will probably be hoodies. Easy easy how does she do it we're basically done okay now we have to detangle all these hangers and it literally feels like something an activity that jigsaw would make you do and saw these are the good hangers we're keeping and i'm doing this so they don't get tangled look it this looks like art like modern art okay there she is nine bags and we're clean this i have to order pant hangers which i will literally probably get tomorrow those will go here and then this is all done okay it's the next day and i just went to tj maxx i had a nice little walk i got myself a matcha went to tj maxx felt like a very like i don't know summer day i got pant hangers not that exciting but look at these candles you guys like these candles would be 30 dollars each at urban outfitters and tj maxx their prices man everything should be like this these these were twelve dollars this or this one was twelve dollars smells so good and the little lid oh, love it and then this one this would be like freaking forty dollars at urban like a mantra collection i am talented and creative grapefruit and vanilla citrine pyrite and sunstone and a wood wick oh love i don't usually love uh grapefruit but this is good 12 bucks this is the final task i got these like velvet ones it's kind of all they have they work though i like how thin they are to be seriously all clipped to each other like this is so silly <laughs> Get that this is so nice and they hate oh my god i feel like i'm at a store i could see everything so much better and i feel like this is gonna help wrinkles too i ended up putting that big garment bag back here so it did kind of take up more space here but i still like from what it was i could still move stuff around relatively easy it's honestly all just an improvement from what it was before wow i'm obsessed with this this is like Ooh, this scratches my brain. Yeah.